Hi everyone, this is the Tucker Jobs YouTube channel where we test football manager tactics and this one today is a very popular shape, it's 4231. All right, it was submitted to me by a guy called Crompton, he watches my streams, he's in my Discord and that is where you're going to find this tactic. So before we begin the video guys, make sure you subscribe and go and check out my Twitch and Twitter as well, All right, because I stream Mondays, Thursdays and Fridays, football manager if you ever want to check out um, me. Let's get started with the video. Right then, welcome back then guys. So as you can see from the tactic, it is the very popular 4-2-3-1 shape. It uses a shadow striker as well. Now in my opinion, I've never had too much luck with a shadow striker, but I know that a lot of people have, so we're excited to see how that position does. Um, when Crompton did tests with this tactic, he showed me pictures, all right? Tottenham finished very high up and he used um, Harry Kane as a shadow striker. Did very, very well. So as I can see from the tactical style, it does say till pass it, tick attacker. Now that is a very nappish thing to see. Um, so I've looked at the instructions on the set pieces. So you've got to presume that you've got a little bit of inspiration from Nat, probably changed one of his older tactics altered it uh, tweaked it so you gotta give a thumbs up to nap as well as a uh, crompton uh so let's get straight on to the test then so the teams involved arsenal burnley psg fc mets dortmund uh verde bremen uh, blackpool mk dons blackpool blackburn <laughs> mk dons and salford um so yeah top teams middle teams low teams uh, lower league teams and elite teams all involved guys so if you can't download the tactic all right, if you can, the link's in the description. It'll say it to me Discord. That's where you can download it. If you're already in my Discord, you probably already know where to go. Um, but if you can't download and you don't know how to download, then just follow all the instructions. All right, you can put everything in manually yourself right now. So advance forward. Inside forward left. Inside forward right. Shadow striker. Deep line playmaker. Mazala. Wing back left. Wing back right. Ball playing defender left. Ball playing defender right. And the sweeper keeper. Set piece instructions, guys. Corners. Defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And as you can see here, it's the BO442. So it is a nap system uh, as well. And the taker is aiming for the near post. Free kicks. Defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And then throw ins. Defending right and left. And attacking left and right. It's the BO442 long throw-ins from the defender right and defender left taking them. Uh, back to the tactic, attacking mentality. So, in theory, you probably want to be a more powerful team than your opponent if you are using the attacking mentality so you don't so you're not open to counter attacks really uh, but in possession fairly wide on the attack and width passing to space on the approach play overlapping left and right play out defense slightly shorter passing directness with a higher tempo uh, work ball into box with the final third with the low crosses and then run at defense as well in transition counter press and counter two very popular options right there distribute to your full backs and throw it along for the goalkeeper uh, instructions and then out of possession, you're going to be using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement. High defensive line with a force opposition outside on the defensive width. Use tighter marking with extremely urgent pressing intensity. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution and get stuck in. That's all the instructions. There's the teams. All right. Hopefully it does well. We'll go to the end of the season, have a look at all the results, all the numbers, all the stats. And uh, you can see for yourself if you want to, if you want to download it and if it will suit your team. Right then, here we are. So we're going to get started in the Premier League. All right, we had Arsenal and Burnley in this test for the Premier League teams. And Arsenal, not too bad. All right, I know we've had tactics where you've actually won the league of Arsenal. But coming second and you're only four points behind Liverpool. Liverpool had a fantastic season. They are such an overpowered team in Football Manager. Uh, Burnley, they did better than expectation. They are expected 16th, came 12th, not too bad. I've... I have seen better, but with tests, it's yeah. There's 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 some leeway there. All right, we'd need to do more and more tests to get a definitive answer on the position and the stats for a team like Burnley. Um, but we could have probably done the test again. They might have finished eighth. Could have done the test again with Burnley. They could have finished seventeenth. All right, tactic tests aren't be all and end all. It just gives you a rough ish idea on how you can do, what you can score, uh, stats, and so on and so forth. Um, but still, improvement, right? So you gotta, you got to take that. Um, if we look at the top threes, though, Barnes. 
<laughs> Top goal scorer for Burnley, Barnes. Nice, 26. Average rating, you got Odegaard for Arsenal, 7.8 assists. Odegaard and McNeil, 21 assists for Odegaard. In the league, that's just the league. All right, we haven't even looked at his full numbers yet. Uh, player of the matches as well, Odegaard coming first. And Leno for Arsenal getting top clean sheet. So even though they came second, Arsenal did all right on the individual side of things as well. It would have been nice to get top goal scorer or in the top threes. But let's have a look at Arsenal's competitions. Did they win anything? They did. They won the Carabao Cup. All right, they got in the final. Beat Chelsea 3 Neil right there. Runs up the Community Shield. Obviously, they faced Liverpool. Lost 2-1. Uh, FA Cup went out in the fourth round, and they never won the Euro Cup either. So, to be fair, it's a decent season for Arsenal, isn't it? To be fair, all right, in thinking about real life, that's not too bad. Uh, if we go to the squad then, all right, so not not a lot of players got great average ratings, all right. Only these lot here got above seven, so they've got come, come into the green. Um, but 6.91, 6.89, that's all average, all right. It only looks good when it's green, but the average ratings is about 6.8, 6.9, so... Um, oh God, was obviously your best player. 10 goals and 26 assists for him. Biggest goal scorers are Bamiang, 22, and Ketia, 14. Gabriel. Now, Gabriel's a centre-back. That's 14 goals for a centre-back. Or else that's just showing you that these set-piece systems from Nap um, did very, very well. Uh, Lacazette, Odegaard, 12 and 10. Biggest creators after Odegaard, you've got Pepe and Party, all right, 9 and 8. Team report, looking at the uh, general performances, that's not too bad either. All right, you're obviously doing very well on goals, expected goals. You're doing very well on the defensive side of things as well. A lot of shots. Uh, full numbers, though, 124. Not as much as I've seen before, but still fairly decent. Uh, we'll have a look at the league standings, because I'm sure you're going to be right up there. And then conceded was 55 in all competitions. Now, let's have a look at Burnley. Now, Burnley, 12th. Still an improvement. All right, you can't take away the fact that it is uh, that's, that's half good. Half good. You'd probably expect better when you're doing tactics tests. But let's have a look at their competitions then. So they didn't win the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. Go to the squad. Only three players and one's on loan. So only two players got the green average ratings. The rest of them are lingering about 6.8, 6.7. Some very low ones here. Um, but your biggest goal scorer, Barnes, 28. All right, he was the leading goal scorer in the Premier League as well. And then the biggest assist was McNeil with 15 right there. Team report for the underdogs. Now, that is pretty much what you're going to be expecting from an underdog. All right, if it was a successful test for them and they finished higher, you're going to be looking at more goals, more expected goals, probably concede a little bit less, but it is the Premier League. All right, there can be a big difference in teams in the Premier League. It's a very hard league, especially if you're a team like Burnley. Um, but you're still doing fairly well on some of the, some of the stats or... Oh. Probably what you expect with an underdog. Uh, full numbers for these guys then. 76 goals scored and you conceded more than you scored. Now, you don't want to see that. Don't want to see that. And some of the things that you could probably alter for a team like Burnley is take off the attacking mentality. Drop it down. Go positive. It does protect you a little bit better, but it is still the favoured team mentality. So maybe have a, maybe go down a little, little bit more to balanced. That might sort yourself out a little bit there. Um... But yeah, not not quite suited to Burnley, but it still wasn't the worst I've seen. Um, so yeah, all right, that was Burnley. All right, so if we go to the Premier League stats, now this is where you're going to see the goals from Arsenal. That's probably not too bad. Look, most goals, it ain't. Arsenal did come first in the league, so not not a lot in all competitions that I've seen before. Or I've seen 150, 160. I've seen some tactics get 200 and above on the goals when it comes to every competition. But when it's just the league, you are the highest goal scorer. All right, so most shots four as well. Arsenal there first, Burnley sixth. Uh, possession, not too bad. All right, at the possession side of things, probably a little bit worse for the lower teams, but Arsenal coming second with 55% average possession. Um, best pass completion, no teams are in there. You go and attacking, aren't you? If you go and attacking, you're risking losing the ball more um, for higher gains, basically. And then fewest conceded. <clears throat> Arsenal coming fifth lot with 38 conceded just in the league itself. Uh, so not too bad in the Premier League. All right, let's go to uh, France. Yeah, PSG and FC Metz have done. Well, <laughs> that's more like it. All right, that is what you're going to see. So PSG are always going to win the league. No matter what tactic you could 
probably put on a really bad one. They're going to do half decent. Uh, but we do it for the big numbers. See, see, see what you can get, the possibilities of the tactic. But FC Mets, underdogs guards, coming second and convincingly coming second as well. They're on 84 points. Leon came third with 69. All right, big, big points difference right there. But PSG, absolutely fantastic. Um, I didn't lock Mbappe on as a striker. You probably could have scored a lot more goals if he was locked in as a striker. But I just, it was all standard. Let uh, let the assistant pick all the teams just about through the whole season. Uh, but it was Cardi that finished with most goals. With Ambrose for FC Mets coming second with 25 goals. So absolutely fantastic. But yeah, FC Mets did really, really well. Average ratings, Neymar, Di Maria, and Mbappe. All right, three danger men, probably the striker, the right side, and the left side right there. Uh, 7.64 came first, Neymar. Uh, assists, you've got Di Maria and Neymar, 17-16. Player of the matches, Neymar. And then clean sheets was Navis, was 21. So PSG's competitions, how did they do? Not too bad. They got the uh, they got the treble, all right? The French Cup, the trophies as champions, and they also won the league. Uh, they missed that. On the Champions Cup. Alright, they were the runners up. Runners up. Who did they lose against in the final? Let's have a look. Atletico Madrid. <laughs> That's a shame. That is a shame. Oh, you can see there. Haaland, though, was the uh, top goal scorer in the competition. Nice one. Uh, so, yeah. It's obviously always nice to get the full board. But PSG did fairly well. They didn't draw any. They lost three. Uh, I have had tactic tests where they lost zero. Unbeaten season. Um, but if I did this test again, probably could have swung that way. All right, 101 goal difference, 105 points for them. Let's go to the squad. A lot of players getting some decent ratings there. Best player was Neymar, 21 goals, 35 assists, 7.71 all competitions for him. Biggest goal scorer is Icardi, 40, Mbappe, 26, Neymar, Rafina, 21 and 14. Rafina with 14, that is not bad at all. Um, Kimpembe, all right, again, the centre back getting quite a lot of goals. For his position, 12 goals. Very good system. If you if you don't feel like using the tactic, you might feel like just using the set piece um, instructions instead and then going your own way with the tactic shape. Uh, Marquinhos as well, lock 10. So, yeah, very well done there. Uh, biggest creators in the team, Neymar, Di Maria, Bernat. All right, 35, 22, and 12. Team report, pretty much normal. That is for PSG. It's just called absolute domination. All right, I see it every other tactics test. Um, so well done. No point going too much into that. It's always going to happen. Stats then was 171 goals scored. That's a lot. And 33 conceded. And that's very little. So yeah, standard for PSG. Very, very well done. Um, FC Mets though. They're the big underdogs, guys. Big underdogs. And they come second. Convincingly come second as well. All right, very well done to them. If we go to their competitions, we got to the semi-final of the French Cup, uh, but got knocked out of there. So squad, for an underdog team to get that much on the average ratings in the greens, that's fairly well, fairly good going there. Because I've seen a lot of underdogs, even if they do well, average ratings for some reason don't show it. All right, you get three or four players in the green on the average ratings, but this time you've got quite a lot. Uh, best player was Mega. All right, four goals, 13 assists. Biggest goal scorers and Brose, obviously in Bulaya, 29 and 15. Biggest creators in the team, Mega, Nget and Shimpembe. Am I saying that right, Shimpembe? We don't know. Someone's going to obviously comment on that one. No. <laughs> Butchered it. Well, I'm sorry if I did. Um, but yeah, they were the biggest creators in the team. Team report. Now, for underdogs, that is insane. I know it's the French League. It's a little bit less quality. But if you ever decide to start a game up in the French League, it's a very good tactic if you do so. All right. General performance absolutely smashed it. Uh, stats then 106 goals, 43 conceded. If we go to the uh, team overviews for the league, all right. Most points, obviously, PSG, FC, Mets. Most goals. PSG FC Mets. Most shots for PSG FC Mets. Fewer shots against PSG FC Mets. There's a big difference. 171, 315. Best pass completion, all right. So the smaller team isn't in there, but PSG did get to sixth. Similar situation, guys. You're playing attacking football, you're going to lose the ball more. All right. Best possession, though, PSG 59% average. All right. Most times when you're doing tactics tests, the possession kind of is being sacrificed, basically, for goals. Um, in this case, though, it did fairly well for PSG. FC Mets coming third with 56, all right? Uh, most dribbles, most tackles, fewest conceded. PSG, FC Mets, 20 and 39. Awesome, awesome, 
All right, very well done on the tactic. Nice, uh, nice changes cromped into the uh, to the nap tactic. Absolutely incredible, right there. Uh, if we go to Germany, all right, Dortmund and Werder Bremen, again, fantastic. Werder Bremen are a mid-table team. They came second. Dortmund coming first. You can see the top threes right here: Haaland and uh, Fulkrug. 33 goals, 21 first and second. The two strikers for each team doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, if we can go down again to the lower leagues of England, all right, the Championship. Blackburn, how did they do? Came first. All right. Armstrong is the striker for Blackburn. He got 43 league goals. 43 league goals came Numbre 1 0. And then you can see the other players there getting in the top threes. Go down another league. MK Dons. All right. MK Dons are underdogs in League One. How did they do? They came third and got promoted through the playoffs. Again, a couple of players in the top threes. And then we go down another league, Salford. They're a, pretty much a top team in that league. And, of course, they came first and got a couple of players in the top threes again. So, tactic, guys. Very well done. It's a very popular shape. No doubt a lot of people are going to want to try this. If you do try it, let us know how you got on. Let us know how your team got on. Um, if you made any changes to it to improve it, awesome. Let us know in the Discord, guys, so we can all uh, make the same changes if we decide to download this tactic and improve everyone's game, basically. And hopefully, you do have a good game with it. All right, so uh, good luck. You know where the tactic is. It's in the Discord. All right, go in the link in the description. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment to this video and to this channel. Um, and watch my stream. All right, I stream, again, I said earlier, Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays on Twitch. I stream Football Manager, so you might want to go and check that. Out. And yeah, end of the video. <laughs> Well done, Crompton. Great tactic, mate. And um, hopefully everyone has a fantastic time. Thank you for watching. I'm Tucker Jobs. See you later. Bye.